Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, today is Friday, June 24th, I think, 2011. Um, yes, I am shirtless outside in the morning at 5:30 in the morning. I didn't get a, I didn't get an ounce of sleep, not even one minute last night. So I decided, why not go for a run at five in the morning, try and get some exercise. But um, in my delirium, I had an idea for a video. I know it's been a while since I put any videos online for you guys, but um, this one I wanted to put on about pain and what pain is, physical pain and emotional pain, and what people think they're two different, two separate things. But what I realized and what I've found out and studied is that they're actually quite similar. Um, okay, so I'm a psychology major, and um, I'm very interested in neuropsychology uh, as a specialty. Um, oh, here, someone's running. Someone else is running. There they go. But um, anyways, so pain. Um, back to the subject. So I, I've learned this year at, at uh, college that um, there's these things, you guys have all heard of MRIs, you know, the MRI, there's x-rays and the MRIs, uh, I think it's magnetic reson resonance imaging, it uses like magnetic waves to detect like subtle frequencies, whatever, to see tissues and bones, okay, whatever, forget about that, I'm not going to get into the neuroscience of it right now, but there's this new thing that came out recently in the past couple of years called the fMRI, and the fMRI is a functional, it's not, the F stands for functional, and um, Basically, what we can do is we can put these little like probes and stuff on your on your head, and uh, see what when you're thinking, what parts of your brain are lighting up exactly what part and like what part's getting blood flow to it. Well, what we found is, <laughs> you ever when you guys were kids, did you ever play sports like at high, in school and like you had to pick uh, during PE class you had to pick teams, and then like there would always be the kid who was pick last, you know? And I always felt bad for the kids who would pick last. And they, they always said that you would hurt their feelings if they were to pick last. Well, what, what the psychologists have done is they have put, done the fMRI study on people who um, were picked last and that kind of thing, you know, those kids. And what they found was this same part of the brain, okay, the, uh, if I remember correctly, it's the right prefrontal cortex up here. The same part of the brain that makes you feel physical pain is the same part of the brain that lit up when these kids were picked last, okay? So what I'm trying to tell you guys is when someone says you're hurting my feelings, you know, like you're hurting my feelings, you're actually physically causing them pain. Even though you're not hitting them, punching them, doing anything to them, you're actually causing them physical pain. Even though you can't see it and people always say it's emotional, yeah, like emotional pain is different. Well, what we found is it's actually not. It's the same damn thing. It's the same part of the brain that you feel when you get punched is when someone's being mean to you. And when I read this, I just it just blew my mind sideways. It was like, holy crap. All those times, because I, I mean, me, I mean, I, I've been mean to people. Everyone's been mean to people. You know, you've, everyone's, I'm not perfect, you know? But I would always think that punching somebody is worse. I would always assume that punching someone, hurting, like literally inflicting pain to their body is worse than being mean. I would always think words are a nicer way to, <laughs> nicer way to do it. Turns out it's not, it's the same damn thing. So. I just wanted to give you guys that little tidbit of information. I thought it was incredibly important for everyone to know, especially for kids, young kids, because kids don't understand that, you know? They don't have the minds, the, the, their brains are not developed enough to understand these concepts about that, because they only understand pain is pain, you know, you punch someone, ow. That's all kids get. But, um, <sighs> sorry, I was running, so I'm like out of breath. I'm so out of shape, it's ridiculous. <laughs> um, so what I'm saying, to, what I'm trying to tell you guys is just watch your mouths, watch your words, watch what you say to people because you don't, you actually don't know what, what kind of effect you can have on them, okay? Is that a deer? Oh, a little deer over there. You guys can't see it, there's no way. But, um, so yeah, what you say really affects people and it goes the opposite way too, you know, like uh, for good things. When you say good things to people, like nice things, you can you can make them feel actual you can make them feel pleasure like as if you were giving them physical pleasure I'm not gonna go into physical pleasure you guys are all smart enough to know what physical pleasure can what it feels like and what you have to do to make someone feel physical pleasure I'm talking about emotions here stuff that happens inside your mind so I never really thought it was that important but I've studied it actually is very important so please guys just try and I don't know I'm not telling you like be nicer to each other and stuff but 
just be aware of that. When you're, when you're, next time you're saying something mean to somebody, or you're talking down to them, making fun of them, whatever, just keep that in mind, okay? All right, guys, have a good summer. I'm um, sorry I haven't put any videos up, not like any of you watch these anyways. <laughs> but, yeah. Alright, peace.